Mayor, I'm just delighted at everything you're doing for the city, you yes, have done you. for the city. As a suburb resident, what happens in the city is very important to me, of course. Mm -hmm. I spend a lot of time. Do you see the city having any responsibility as a former educator, I'm asking the question. Well, once an educator, always an educator. Um, in uh, dealing with families and helping the families prepare their children to go to school and to cooperate better with teachers, with the whole school system. And if you do, is the city doing anything about it? Well, um, quick answer is yes, but uh, elaborate a little bit. Uh, education is, is not just an institution. I, I, be I believe, is, is this mic on? Okay. Uh, what I believe is that uh, we should stop getting uh, out of, we should stop being in silos and we should quit categorizing things. Uh, everything that we do has to be community based. So if we're going to do proper education and be successful at it, it has to have complete community environment and education has to run through the very fiber of, of, of our community, which includes families and the family's responsibility and teachers and, and, and all these other kind of things and elected officials. So that is what, when I meet with Dr. Sanders on a weekly basis, he, him and, and the chairman of the board, we discuss those kind of things and how can we have better p p uh, parent participation. One of the uh, great examples of it is his single uh, gender academies. I think you have, what, about 90% participation of parents, and the school students do well. But again, uh, just like public safety, it cannot be just a silo of, of safety. It has to be a community effort, and that means total community environment and safety. It has to be the same thing with education. Mr. Mayor, I too would like to thank you for all that you've been doing for the city of Cleveland. And I'd like to turn your attention to the county and ask you what you envision an ideal relationship between the city of uh, Cleveland and the reformed Cuyahoga County. What do you envision that ideal relationship will look like generally and specifically as it relates to economic development? Well, uh, I envision the ideal relationship is getting something done. <laughs> uh, I just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just adverse to conversation, and I guess the older I get, the less, the more adverse I am to it. But uh, I just think we need to just get something done. And if we, if we create a political agenda of power, then we're not going to get anything done. So if, if this is about um, power politics as who's the boss, who runs the place, then we're not going to get anything done. Now, um, I'm, I'm not that hard to get along with. And, and, but I am difficult to get along with too. It, it, it is, so it is based on what the agenda is. And, and if the agenda is about action, and if the agenda is about improving quality of life and, and, and including everyone into the quality of life and prosperity that we have, then I'm on board. Now, in, in terms of economic development, I think that's a very narrow uh, um, uh, view of what this county uh, government should be doing. If we look at just economic development, again, we're just like saying we're going to do education and, and just keep it as a silo. This has to be a complete transformation of the way in which we operate and relationship between government and business and citizens. That's what this has to be. And, and I believe that when we do that, economic development will be a significant part of it, but I also believe that the reduction in the cost of government and allowing us to make agreements between our municipalities to help do that is another important part. And I also believe that how we tax people and, 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 and how do we do um, uh, common procurement to reduce the cost, all these kinds, and ultimately, uh, as you know, my theme is that uh, if we do everything else and we, do, and we don't uh, have a proper educational directive and outcome, we're going to fail and we're going to be back at the table again. So I, I don't think it's just economic development. Economic development is a key component. But at any moment in time, 
any of these other things will pop up as the major focus the county should be doing. So we have to do it all. This is transformation. This is recreation. This is the opportunity we have. And the failure to do it will be our failure, not the citizens. Hello, Mayor Frank Jackson. Hello. Um, the, questions, the question that I have for you comes with a statement as well. The ideals okay. that you have for the city of Cleveland are phenomenal. However, there is a group of displaced youth who will not graduate from high school. They will become incarcerated by the time that they're 20. 22% 20, of them will graduate from college, and that's mm -hmm. foster and adoptive youth. So what will the city of Cleveland do for our youth? I know the Haiti event was really nice. What will we do for our youth so there's an endowment of money for mm -hmm. them to have money to fill out uh, college applications, mm -hmm. be able to participate in prom, in addition to, I don't know, driving lessons or anything that they want to do because they don't have support systems okay. or parents? Well, uh, I will tell you that um, young people are on my mind every day. When I go home, um, my wife lives with me, my, uh, my daughter, my granddaughter, grandson, great-grandsons and, and nieces, daughters, so, so, so I, every day. And, and, my, and I want to point out, to, uh, say that to you, uh, not in a flippant way, but to say that a uh, part of me even wanting to be mayor or making the decision to be mayor is, uh, is about young people and, and about what do we do for young people. Now, I know that in uh, talking to Dr. Sanders about that, I cannot commit to you about having a fund created for, for uh, uh, children who don't have the connections of parents. I can't commit to that. But what I can tell you that uh, starting this year, uh, in our 11th and 12th grade, uh, we have started in our public school system that every child is to receive um, a mandatory class that deals specifically with that issue. That if they uh, want to go to college, who helps them to fill out these forms? Who, who holds their hands and get them from here to there? And that's why I've, I've met with uh, the local university presidents and college presidents to see how we can better enhance that seamless approach to taking children and moving them from one institution to another uh, to help them navigate through this, through, you know, through this educational system. So that is what we're doing, and that's what my commitment is. Uh, I cannot commit to having a large fund specifically for a one group of kids, but I will say to you that all of what I do in terms of education, as you can see, that's a major part of what I talk about, is designed to help every child, regardless of who that child is or where that child lives, uh, have the same opportunity in life. And that's what I'm committed to.